we started by first deploying a small local micro grid powered by local solar power and battery storage. So we have de deployed several such systems at this stage in Mali and Uganda. Each system serves 10 to 20 customers. Generally they are homes, but frequently they are small businesses, sometimes a school. It was very important in rural setting to keep transaction costs low. So we have eliminated the entire process of meet, reading a meter, billing, collecting the bill. The process is occurring through uh, prepaid uh, metering so that the customer pays upfront for the, uh, for the fixed amount of electricity they want to buy. They can buy it in small amounts if they want. They can skip a payment if they don't have money a particular week or a particular month in a year. This is quite common in rural settings where incomes are dependent on agriculture. Just before the harvest, maybe the uh, family does not have as much money. They can then, in that month, choose to consume less electricity without any penalty. Having people pay flexibly Having people pay when they can afford and when they can need without a flat monthly fee matches with the needs and spending patterns of the poor. This was a very important lesson through the project. It is possible to deploy a local microgrid that is compatible with the long-term infrastructure that might arrive there later. So the current infrastructure being de deployed does provide the user with a 220 volt AC connection at their home, which is very similar to what a grid would provide. So from a customer side of story, it is a grid-like connection. From a utility perspective, if the grid arrives later, that local distribution wire is of value since it is at the same standards and voltages as the conventional grid. Uh, we have also been able to deploy smart demand and supply management. Smart supply management means if there are few days in a year which are very cloudy, then if the solar resource that day is less than the regular day, then one can ensure that everybody still has power but in a slightly lower amount than what they had. This is much better than completely shutting off some customers for some days, which is what a conventional rolling blackout or load shedding um, is. So the advantage is, if there is a limited resource, you can manage that limited resource. So in effect, what we have is prepaid smart metering with time of day pricing, with supply and demand management. Interestingly, this is what the US and Japan and Europe are trying to strive in what they want to deploy in the future called a smart grid. So what we have developed is in effect a low cost smart grid for poor settings.